Hello everyone. Welcome to the Pictoblocks machine learning environment tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about post classification. It is one of the machine learning model types which can be trained in Pictoblocks. Post classification works by analyzing your position with the help of 17 data points. You can map different poses to various classes and use them to execute actions. In this project, we'll be making a posture detector. Toby will correct you if it detects that you are slouching. For this project, we will be needing two classes, upright and slouching. Let's get started. Open Pictoblocks and select the block coding environment. Go to the machine learning environment by selecting the Open ML environment option under the Files tab. Click on the Create new project option to initialize your project. Type an appropriate name and select the Pose classifier as the model type. Click on the Create Project button and you will see the Pose classifier window. When you are greeted with the Pose classifier window, you will see two classes, Class 1 and Class 2. Edit the first class name to Upright. There are three ways you can add data to your project. Using your device webcam to click image samples, using the upload button to upload images from your device, or by using the Upload Classes from Folder button to import a dataset. For this example, we will take images from the camera. You shall see the data points line up to your posture. If the data points do not line up, the classifier will not take inputs. Set upright and capture the samples. You need at least 20 samples for the model to train. For this example, take around 200 samples for each class. If you want to delete a sample, hover over it and click the delete button. Rename class 2 as slouching and take samples from the webcam. As a thumb rule, you should try to add an equal number of samples in every class. Large variations in data can be a problem while training the model. Training is where the classifier extracts features from these samples and trains the model to recognize the poses in the class. The goal is to come up with a model that can classify unseen samples as per the defined classes. Use the advanced tab to alter the hyperparameters of the model. In the post classifier, you can play around with epochs, batch size and learning rate. Do note that the learning rate hyperparameter is extremely sensitive and can greatly affect the performance of your model. Pictoblocks gives you an option to train the post classification in both JavaScript and Python. Just flick the switch on top of the training box to cycle between the two. Training the model might take some time. Keep a check on the accuracy graph while training is done. You can view a comprehensive report of your model performance in the train report. The train report consists of the accuracy and loss curve of the model, the confusion matrix of the model, the true positives, false negatives and false positives for each class. Once training is complete, it's time to test our model on alien data. The model trains itself on the samples we provide. But a model is only useful if it can classify alien data just as well as it classifies the training data. This is where model testing comes into play. You can test the images here. Much like training, testing can be done either by a device's webcam or by uploading data from your device. Start the camera and test the model. Click on the export model button on the top right of the testing box and Pictoblocks will load your model into the block coding environment. Observe how we have blocks for the model we just trained in the blocks palette. You can click on the open recognition window block and test the models working. Now add a when flag clicked block on the forever block to the scripting area and snap them into place. Add a turn video on stage with transparency block above the forever block. Select on and zero as a transparency. This will make sure that the camera feed shows up on stage. Add an analyze image from block inside the forever block and set the drop down to stage. Now add an if else block for our conditional statements. Follow it up with another if block under the else statement. 
add an is class identified block inside both the if statements set the first drop down to upright and the next to slouching add a say block inside of the first if block and change it to good posture add another say block into the next statement and change it to don't slouch now click the green flag to run the script there you have it you just used post classification to make your very own posture detector